sign posted at the While entrance. While they were screaming to the top Instead of his lungs. Instead of following the sign's instructions to keep away from the shaft, John had decided to check it out. Yep, there we He go. never intended to fall, but, you know, <laughs> gravity works in mysterious <laughs> ways. After his plummet, John sustained several broken bones, but that wasn't his biggest problem. Down in the darkness, he had company, <gasps> and not the good kind. There were snakes. And not just any snakes, but deadly, venomous rattlesnakes. Bro, he really got the serious case of fucking around and he finding find out. Yep. He found out in the worst way possible. Not only did you snap your shit up, you snapped your shit up in the dark with poisonous snakes. Bro. What's going on, Clitch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Doug. It's your boy, Ross. We in the clutch, baby. Hey. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, with another video today. You feel me? All right, we're going to check out places you can't go and people who went anyways, a.k.a. people fucked around and found, found out. out. Yeah, we're going to check out some of these uh, situations where people were probably told, hey, don't go there. I wouldn't do that. Warning, stay out of here. And they went anyways. I mean, what's what's people without that happening, right? Yeah, what, I mean, it's just one of those type of things where, you know. Oh, Ross, going invisible. What? I was going invisible? Yo, that was weird. How did that happen? <laughs> wow, that's crazy. What the fuck happened? <laughs> I was fixing the uh, the little camera thing so that way. Oh, you okay, 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 okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe I'm you should just get rid of you, man. You found you found out. You went to find out land. No, I, I don't. I don't do that. Anywho, uh, <laughs> uh, this is not a Mr. Ballin video. Actually, let me give the proper credit. So you're this not gonna is, catch uh, me though. Uh, this is on the channel. Be amazed. So we're gonna be amazed at how stupid people are. <laughs> All right, let's go. They're not supposed to go. It's kind of crazy, this. bro. Ross Our is world bad. has so many spectacular places to explore. Yeah. And with transport links and travel apps constantly improving, the most secluded corners of the earth are now closer than ever. However, there are some places that are too dangerous, protected, or special to step foot on. Whether it's a network of abandoned mines, haunted islands, or top secret military facilities, uh -oh. here are some of the most fascinating places you're not allowed to visit. And the people who did anyway. We gotta guess the race Pokemon too. Hunters. Ah, uh, the village of Box in England. Who remember these, man? Who remember the time of Pokemon Go? Oh, bro, boys used to be out here man, trying to catch bro. Pokemon in the craziest of places, hopping bro. out their car. Yep. Ah, oh, take man, that was Pokemon Go. That was a time. It that brought a lot a of people together too, though. That shit was fun. I ain't gonna hold you. That shit was fun. It's nestled within a picture perfect looking parish, but this place isn't as flawless as it seems. And old abandoned quarries nearby, large metal grates block off ominous cracks in the earth. They almost look like they're keeping something locked in, rather than keeping people out. These are entrances to the Box Mine, a network of twisting Whoa. tunnels more than 18 miles long, which plunge to depths of up to 120 Ooh, feet so unexpectedly, shit. it'd be easy to get lost, or worse. Mining here ceased in 1970. And parts of the quarries that had been taken over by Britain's Ministry of Defense were sealed shut, like this ominous red blast door. Since then, the tunnels have publicly been declared off-limits to the public, with fire and rescue services warning people to stay out unless they have a map and properly trained guide. Well, they probably should have specified what kind of map, because in July 2016, oh, four no. teenagers got horribly lost after following directions provided by an app. No, not Google Maps, Pokemon Go. The mobile GPS. <sighs> These niggas. They was, went in the cake. Uh, they were so focused on finding them and getting them some Pokemon that they said, fuck it. We gonna go in these these little caves, caverns, mine shafts. We don't know where we're going, but we gotta get the Pokemon, guys. <sighs> All right, well. Oh, they, they found something in there, all right. Yep, they fucked around. Let's see if they found out. This Pokemon hunting game. Apparently, they, found they were tracking for real. certain Pokemon when they entered the tunnels and lost their way. They wandered around with only their phone's lights for hours until they luckily found proper signal to call for help. Okay. Just before their phones were about to die. Wow. Three fire crews and two rope units rushed in, but that wasn't enough. 
they had to call a key holder who had access to some parts of the tunnel that had been graded off Damn. before the rescue mission could commence. Wow. Luckily, all four emerged unscathed, okay. so they didn't capture a single Pokemon. Looks like Team Idiot's blasting off again. <laughs> oh, wasting Island. our resources, bro. The that. tiny island of Povelia is just three miles south of Venice, Italy. From afar, it resembles a lush green... Someone said, who's that Pokemon? <laughs> the Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> And I, in my head, I said it like how they like used how they would that. exactly yeah. who's that Pokemon? Da -da -da. The Reaper <laughs> with the with the staff and all that, ready to come get your dumb ass. That's wild. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> oh my no Oasis frozen in time, and that's but its selection. dilapidated buildings hint at a much darker past. Legally, the island is off limits to the public. Not just for the obvious safety risks, but because Povelia has long been considered one of the most haunted places in the world. Uh -oh. During the 17th really? century, when the Black Plague struck Italy, know about thousands that. of the sick would be sent to Povelia to quarantine. But most of them never returned. Damn. Then in 1922, the island became the base of a mental hospital, and legends tell of a mad doctor who carried out an array of not-so-medically-approved experiments on his patients. Even Why though there? the island was abandoned in 1968 and was ruled off limits soon after, its sordid past has attracted plenty of ghost hunters and paranormal investigators. After obtaining approval from the island's owner, businessman Luigi Brugnaro, an anonymous Luigi. redditor explored the long-abandoned landmass. In the daytime, they didn't expect any paranormal experiences. But while she and her husband explored the island's buildings, she felt like they were being watched from doorways, windows, and alleyways. Ugh. Others who have dared trespass on the island say they've heard screams from patients of the past, as well as the moans and coughs. Yeah, of real life Arkham victims. Asylum for real. Others right. report being touched, pushed, and slapped by spirits in the buildings. Hey, now, hey, God hey damn. bro, you got me fucked up, bro. We gonna hey, be in this old boxing. Don't slap me. Hey, nobody Those? told me. Nobody told y'all to die here. That's fucked up, bro. They gonna stab your ass. <laughs> Oh, oh, we got a shit talk over here. <laughs> oh, hey, bro, I was just messing around, bro. Let me lead now. Man, bro. let's jump him. Let's jump him. <laughs> we ain't asked you to come here either. <laughs> Luckily, the Redditor made it out without personally sharing <laughs> any of those experiences. But that doesn't make the island and its past any less troubling. Whether it's actually haunted or not, keeping Pavelia off limits might be the best way to honor not only its past, but also those who were never allowed to leave. Yeah, I'm good on that. Tomb Raiders. Uh-oh. In central China's Shanxi province, a, a simple-looking building protects one of the most incredible man-made feats the world has ever seen. This is the Museum of the Whoa. Terracotta Army, a building dedicated to the excavation sites of more than 8,000 life-size clay warriors, Damn. constructed right. more than 2,200 Damn. years ago. Tours flock to the museum every year. But what they're not allowed to step foot in, or even see, is the nearby 35 square mile mausoleum. This contains the remains of China's earliest leaders, including oh. the unexcavated tomb of Qin Shu Huang, the very first emperor from 221 BC. Damn. Oh. The warriors are believed to have been hand built to defend the emperor in the afterlife. But despite the area's obviously really? sacred status, not everyone pays it. Don't do this, guys. I see you already see in the chat. Wong? No, no. Don't do this, guys. Wong we're not, location. We're not doing this, y'all. <laughs> respect it deserves. In 2010, two evening guards were doing a routine patrol when they noticed loose dirt on the earth mound sealing one of the ancestral tombs. The guards also found hacksaws and mobile phone covers nearby. Oh, no. But nothing more. Twelve days later, they finally called the police when they spotted a hole in the very same seal leading underground into the 100 feet deep tomb. Damn. Video cameras lowered down the tunnel revealed smashed and looted coffins. Oh. And Not long after the incident, however, authorities arrested nine suspects who confessed to using dynamite to blast the tunnel into the tomb. Damn. But for all their confessions, only a single relic was reportedly recovered. Experts believed other parts of the mausoleum had also been robbed, but they wouldn't know until further excavations had been completed. 
Since then, the fate of the robbers brazen enough to try stealing from one of China's most important historical sites has been kept And what kept the soldiers were doing, man? They were just sitting there watching this shit go down. <laughs> they built all them damn soldiers to protect him, and they just... In the afterlife, not in this life. <laughs> they just quake. <laughs> they can't do shit in this life. In the afterlife, they probably... Man, I wish this nigga was dead. We fucked him up, bro. bro. They, they swinging at him? Yeah, they just swinging at him. They can't do nothing. Can't do nothing. God damn it. Mm. <laughs> Seeing how tough China is on these kinds Those of lives. I something wouldn't be else. surprised if they've ended up in an unmarked grave of their own. On the cool. Before we travel to our next forbidden location, how about we make a pit stop so you can drop this video a like. And don't forget to subscribe to Be Amazed so you don't miss any of our latest uploads. Now it looks like we're heading to the land of tea and beans on toast. Mm. A royal intruder. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Buckingham Palace, the royal residence of the UK's Queen Elizabeth, Hello. receives more than... Hello, Dub. <laughs> UK Dub, where you at, bro? Uh oh uh-oh. ...than uh -oh. 500,000 visitors every year. But buying a tour ticket doesn't mean so you can right. explore the palace to your heart's content. For just 10 weeks in the summer, bro. tourists are allowed inside the residence, but only get to see parts of the garden and six state rooms, Damn. including the throne room. However, the rest of the palace, including Queen Elizabeth's private residence, is strictly off limits to anyone who's not a privileged guest, mm -hmm. a relevant member of staff, or in one creepy case, a very crafty intruder. Shortly before 7 a.m. on July 9, 1982, oh, a 32-year-old man named Michael Fagan scaled the 14-foot high perimeter wall of oh, somebody. Palace. <clears throat> Even though it was topped with barbed wire, he made it over and shimmied up a drain pipe before hopping into the palace through an unlocked window. Michael wandered the palace corridors, triggering the alarm system, but the police assumed it was just a glitch and silenced it. Wow. He continued to roam around, accidentally breaking a glass ashtray, gutting his hand, and ominously holding on to the fragments of glass. That's how Michael strolled into the bedroom of none other than Queen Elizabeth herself and planted himself on her bed. He didn't have any ill intentions towards her, but he also wasn't in the most stable state of mind. After she woke up, Fagan claims the queen calmly told him to just wait where he was and hurried <laughs> off into the corridor. Hey, hell no, nah, bro. Just wait right here. We all know what that means. Just wait right here, young, my young lad, and uh, I'll be right I'll be back. Right. All you see is some niggas in the red coat start stomping this shit. Yeah, ah! bro. They can start beating them to smithereens. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see if he made it. Oh, fuck. Her footman then came in, escorted Fagan away, and then offered him a glass of scotch? Huh? Whether that's true or not, Fagan was then taken into custody by the palace police. That's when an even more shocking revelation came out. Fagan had broken into Buckingham Palace before. A little over a month earlier, he claimed he'd climbed up another drain pipe and entered through the bedroom window of a very startled maid. He even set off two security alarms before hiding, but the police didn't believe the maid and thought the alarm just had a glitch in the system. Bro, what's the point of having an alarm if y'all not gonna pay attention to it? Yeah, they just hitting the damn button. Oh, that ain't nobody. Can't nobody get in here. Bro, what the? They lucky he wasn't deranged as on right. some, like, trying to take some people out because he could have easily done it. Yeah, the queen was just knocked out and here he come in there. She probably couldn't hear. Poor oh, queen. Rest in oh, peace. Lord, but, bro. Jeez. Great deductive work from Her Majesty's supposed finest. Fagin then proceeded to peruse <clears> the halls, fart. view portraits, sit on the throne, and even peed in a bin of corgi food before getting tired uh, at least. This yeah. nigga here. Clearly disturbed, he was committed to a psychiatric hospital for three months, and the Queen decided not to press charges. Although I hope he at least apologized to the corgis for taking a leak in their food. That's fucked That's up, cold, bro. bro. Like, it's why? Dog food, like, damn, bro. The fuck I do to you, bro? Had nothing to do with your situation, <laughs> nothing at all. Corgi deserved better. Keep out. Uh oh. <clears throat> with over fourteen hundred quarries and many abandoned shafts <laughs> littering Arizona's landscape, uh -oh. local mines have long welcomed rock hounds in search of hidden treasures. Which is exactly what sixty-two-year-old John Waddell decided to do one morning in October 2018. All right. He told his neighbor he planned Waddell. to comb the area around a nearby mine and told him he'd be home by Tuesday. Well, Tuesday. Some famous too. words that you always. Oh, famous oh, last words. I'll be home by Tuesday. Tuesday show up. Wednesday hey, show up. Where's Waddell? 
Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, next Tuesday. Oh, man. Came and Reaper went, got him. When on Wednesday morning, John still hadn't returned, his neighbor finally went out looking for him. As soon as the neighbor arrived at the site, he heard John screaming for help from the bottom of a 100 foot deep Dog. mine shaft with a huge warning. Bro. It's a warning sign. Danger. Abandon. Abandon mine. Stay out. Stay alive. And Waddell thought, okay, could be something down here potentially. It's a thick ass sign. And then y'all be wondering why they be having these signs that you be like, bro, ain't nobody gonna do that. No. They got to do this shit for people like Waddell, bro. I'm laughing at the screen. Wow. Yeah, you 100 feet down, bro. He, he got to be yelling. Shout out to his neighbor being a concerned individual. And yeah, I, that was nice of the out. neighbor. That was real because, man. Nigga, I don't man. know. Oh, shit. I ain't seen him. I, seen <laughs> I ain't seen that nigga in a minute. He, right? he told me he was going somewhere, but shit. Right, let me go back in the house. Right. Go carry on. Here we go, bro. <laughs> sign posted at the While they screaming to the top Instead of his Instead of following the sign's instructions to keep away from the shaft, John had decided to check it out. Yep, there we He go. never intended to fall, but, you know, gravity works in mysterious <laughs> ways. After his plummet, John sustained several broken bones, but that wasn't his biggest problem. Down in the darkness, he had company, <gasps> and not the good kind. There were snakes. And not just any snakes, but deadly, venomous, rattlesnakes bro he really got the serious case of fucking around and Man, finding find out yep. he found out in the worst way possible not only did you snap your shit up you snapped your shit up in the dark with poisonous snakes bro god said survive <laughs> damn Despite being in agony, John managed to fight off and kill three while he Whoa. was down there without sustaining any bites. Whoa. Emergency teams arrived shortly after his neighbor found him, and John was taken to hospital to recover. That's so crazy. I think the moral of the story is, if a sign tells you to stay away from a big dangerous hole... He survived the fucking out, fucking around and finding out. But how did he fall into the hole, though? Like, he just... I don't... I, that, t once again... That's on him, but the fact that he took out three poisonous snakes in the dark and survived that, kudos to him. How the hell did he not see that thick ass hole? Like, kudos bro, did you see him, that man. hole when they was go back? Always assume to recover down there without there were some at Johnson's warning sign posted at the entrance. Instead no, of following was... the sign's instructions to keep away from the shaft, John had decided to check it out. Because watch the image never of intended them. to fall, no. but you know. Gravity works in mysterious ways. After his plummet, John sustained several broken bones, but that wasn't his biggest problem. Down in the darkness, oh, he had company, and not the good kind. There were snakes. And not just any snakes, but ah, deadly, venomous rattlesnakes. <laughs> How the hell Despite you know being in agony, see. John managed to fight off and kill three while he was down there without sustaining any bites. Emergency teams arrived shortly Look after Look at that, his... bro. Yeah, I don't know how he... Look at that, fam. Yeah, I don't know how you did that. How you not? Someone keep they calling him Stone Cold. <laughs> Gotta be, bro. Facts, bro. That hey, it, hey, he, he fucked around. He found out, and now he learned. Stone, Hopefully, Stone Blind Cold, because I don't see. Neighbor how found him, and John was taken to hospital to recover. So I think the moral of the story is, if a sign tells you to stay With away from a big dangerous hole, you can see other always assume dreams. it's there for a good reason. You can't see a sign. And if that's Facts. not enough to make you stay away, just remember, there could be snakes down there. Yeah, I'm good. Legally haunted. Not legally. Nestled right. amid the green hills of Sariska Tiger Reserve in Rajasthan, India, sits okay. the magnificent Fort Rajasthan. of Bangar. Built back in the 16th yeah, century, it was once an architectural <laughs> marvel. Yeah. But today, the sprawling fort, having been legally classified as the Stone most haunted Bane site in Cole. India, is off limits to any visitors post sundown. Ghosts oh. and spirits are rumored to roam the premises, some of which have been blamed for many accidents which have happened there at night. This paranormal activity supposedly materialized after the fort was mysteriously abandoned sometime in the 1700s. According to one legend, the local hermit, who insisted that no building should cast a shadow on his home, cursed the fort. What? Another legend tells hey, of a bro, oh. this nigga said no building should cast a shadow on his own. He he went ahead and cast a 
Come on, bro. Bro, what? That's that's bro. That's petty. That's petty, bro. That's very petty, bro. Why are you gonna curse a structure that's already been built? Ah, oh, you cast a shadow on my home. I curse thee. Ah, what? Nigga, I curse you back, nigga. <laughs> the fuck? Don't curse my property. In fact, you curse bro, me. Get him out of here. <laughs> I curse you. Nigga, get your ass off my property. No. Don't you ever. Curse v curse. And if I see you in the afterlife. Ooh, you lucky. Depending on where y'all at. <laughs> Depending on where we at. <laughs> is, there, is there trouble in here? No, 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 no. 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 I'll, I'll let it go. i let it go. Gate's still open now. <laughs> <laughs> Magician who fell in love with a princess from Somebody the town said that was and gender. attempted to use a love potion to win her affection. <laughs> However, the princess flung the potion into a boulder, which then came loose and rolled onto the magician. <gasps> nice lesson what? in consent there. Before taking his final breath, he allegedly cursed the fort and the land that surrounds it. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Then, 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 yeah. Okay. It's your last effort, though. You you going to curse something before you get out? <laughs> what the fuck? What, so he was he trying to riz her up and it didn't work? H how did that? Bro. Give him I that. Hello, this is tech support. Bro, no oh, visit to the what? fort is strictly forbidden after dark. That hasn't stopped tourists and locals from undertaking the adventure. One anonymous explorer paid the fort a visit with their friends in 2011 after they heard about the legends. Of course, the fort had already closed for the evening, so they bribed the keeper and snuck inside. <laughs> An hour into their exploration, the group saw a man sitting near a window with iron bars. He appeared completely zoned out, with wide, unblinking eyes that weren't focused on anything. That was until he suddenly turned and ominously smirked at them. In the moment, these guys were so terrified, they immediately took off. Of course. Even those who aren't brave enough to break in have heard things. Locals often report mysterious, blood-curdling screams and cries of women echoing from the fort at night. Eerie music and even inexplicable lights emanate from the long-abandoned walls. Hey, man, I'm trying to sleep, man. If y'all don't turn that shit right. down. Hey, 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 all hey, right. Cut, cut that down. Damn. We get his curse, but damn. Man, I'm trying to sleep here. Shit. It's been cursed. Whole world know. Y'all ain't going nowhere. Like, really? <laughs> we still got to get up to work. <laughs> yeah, nigga. I got bills to pay. Y'all over here making all this damn noise. Shut Selfish down. ass ghosts. Selfish. <laughs> Now, I don't believe in ghosts, but even I wouldn't be brave enough to try exploring this place at night. Would you? Let me know down in those comments. Damn, get some sleep. Disappearing uh, act. Yep. Area 51, which sits... All right, yeah, we've, we've checked... Oh, yeah, that's that one, the vibrating dude? Yeah, he ended up getting... Well, we don't want to spoil it for so, those who don't know, but we I think we checked this out on a Mr. Ballin video a while back. And, yeah, we... This is when the videos start getting negative, I guess. Yeah, man. Um, once again, it's a it's another case of someone fucking around and they find it out. It, no, this is someone who fucked around, had options, and then he still found out, but still wanted to figure out. <laughs> and he 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 found out. Five miles north of Las Vegas is a hot spot for all kinds of conspiracy theorists. Not only are there decades worth of extraterrestrial rumors surrounding the Air Force Base at its center. But it's also a highly restricted area. Yep. Members of the public are kept away by warning signs, electronic surveillance, and armed guards. But just in case you didn't know, Area 51 isn't the only restricted military base in the area. Situated eight miles northeast of Las Vegas is the Nellis Air Force Base. Covering more than 14,000 acres, it mainly consists of restricted okay. ranges used for military flight operations. So why is the proximity of both of these bases of any relevance? Because in 2014, one man took his interest in these restricted areas a little too far. 47-year-old Kenny Veach, a long-distance hiker, first came into the public eye when he left Kenny. a mysterious comment on an unknown YouTube video. Mm -hmm. In the comment, Kenny claimed to have found this a hidden cave nothing. somewhere in between right. the two Air Force bases. And what made this cave so significant wasn't just its abnormal M-like shape, but the fact that as soon as Kenny tried to enter it, he claimed he felt strange vibrations traveling through his body. The whole thing was so unnatural, he decided to immediately leave the cave. But the and then that that should have been that should have been it. That should have been the end of it. Hey, 
there's this cave over here. Guys may not want to go to it. You start vibrating. It, 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 it's not a good feeling. Don't go there. Right? Snicker said they killed Kenny. They did more to that nigga. I don't know what they did to him. The internet wasn't satisfied with his choice. After being egged on by other commenters, Kenny decided... And y'all some assholes. Whoever sat up there and commented it... Because I think the, the video is still up on YouTube. His channel is still up on YouTube. For those who commented and said, Hey, man, you need to go check that out, Kenny, bro. Hey, man, check it out, bro. Let us know. Maybe because Kenny was so enthusiastic, you know, enthused I about going. So they, they seen that he was like a cave... I understand you know, that. I understand that. But at the same time, bro, if someone's telling me I'm a fan of someone or that I like their content, they're telling me, yeah, this cave is kind of weird. It made me feel weird. I don't know. I'm not me personally. I'm not going to be egging them to go back. That's you know not interesting, saying? though, bro. It sounds interesting, but I'm yeah. not the one doing it. I'm sitting at home. Right. You feel me? So, so that's why it's one of those things where he personally. I'm not gonna be like, hey, bro, you need to go check it out. <clears throat> that's that's just me, man. If he Do already went to the and cave, checked it out and this said time he's going back, a camera yeah. to document his trip. The only problem was he couldn't remember the cave's exact location. Uh, hopefully, I'll find it. It's shaped like a big M. It's a big cave that looks just like a gigantic M, and it's about as tall as I am and kind of narrow, and uh, it's stuck on the side of a mountain. Uh, so I hope I can find it again. Evidently, this Found second something. trip turned out to be a bust, but Kenny wasn't about to give up. A month later, he embarked on an overnight hike. Only this time, Kenny never returned. As soon as his girlfriend reported him missing, a search party was formed by Nevada rescue volunteers. Kenny's phone was found near an abandoned mine shaft a week later, but after sending down a camera which found nothing, the search was called to a close. To this day, neither Kenny nor his M-shaped cave have been found. So what exactly mm -hmm. happened to him? Many people theorize that since Kenny didn't carry a GPS, he simply got lost in the desert. Another theory is that he faked his own death to start another life, which actually Damn. doesn't sound too wild compared to the final theory. Internet crawlers speculate that Kenny did end up finding the M-shaped cave and that it turned out to be a secret government facility. According to them, Kenny might have seen something he shouldn't have and ended up being taken captive. They also suggested the vibrations Kenny felt when he first entered the cave were created by a high-tech alarm system set up to catch trespassers. Ultimately, all these theories remain unproven and completely circumstantial. Anything could have happened to Kenny, and I'm afraid the only one who will ever know the truth is Kenny himself. Well, uh, there, there's one part of the video he's leaving out. If you guys didn't see the original from Mr. Ballin, someone had typed on the video itself when he came back talking <laughs> about the cave, he typed on the video. Who It was just a random person. They I don't even mm -hmm. think they had a profile. They was like, hey, I suggest you do not return back to those caves. Mm -hmm. And he had went. No one ever knew who this comment was. He went. He never showed back up. And the comments have been deleted. It's gone. And so was Kenny. Yep. So... It sucks, man. I, damn, bro. That's that's a tough one. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. But he, the curiosity got the best of him, unfortunately, man. So, kill the cat. Password, please. Nestled deep in the redwood forest of Northern California's Bohemian Grove is a 2,700-acre camp that's completely isolated from the outside world. This makes it the perfect spot for a male members-only club, Whoa. where only the rich and powerful are allowed to attend. And I mean, super rich and right. super powerful. That's Previous members include Ronald Reagan, up. Richard Nixon, George Bush, and George H.W. Uh -oh. Bush. Uh -oh. Since the camp's Can opening in 1972, that? its high-profile members have remained incredibly secretive about what goes on inside. From world leaders coming together and plotting the New World Order to performing sinister occultist rituals, conspiracy theorists have thought of it all. And I understand why. The only way to join the club, which requires an initiation fee of 25 grand, is to what? be invited by an existing member. But back in the year 2000, conspiracy theorist Alex Jones decided to bypass Not this Alex expensive Jones. invite and snuck into Bohemian Grove. <clears throat> yes, that Alex Jones, the now famous InfoWars host who once claimed the government is using chemicals to turn frogs gay. 
<laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Together with the journalist and documentary filmmaker John Ronson snuck into the forest to observe the ominous workings of the so-called cult. And they weren't disappointed by what they found. At first it looked like a normal, albeit luxurious, campsite, with musicians playing instruments throughout and fully stocked bars littering the place. But then at 9 p.m. a loud bell rang and the members all gathered around a huge 40-foot statue of a giant owl. A man fuck? dressed in long robes began chanting and preaching in Old English verse, praying to the owl, occasionally punctuated by pyrotechnics. And if that wasn't strange enough, several figures appeared from the trees wearing purple robes with hoods. They set fire to a big pit in front of the owl and tossed what looked like a coffin into the flames. Now, before you freak out, there's a perfectly plausible explanation for all this. While Alex thought they had stumbled upon a ritualistic sacrifice, John saw the more rational side of things. First of all, where Alex was convinced that the members were worshipping Moloch, an old pagan owl god, John thought the area was probably also an owl sanctuary. Especially since there were little huts scattered throughout the trees, almost like they were put there to house owls. Also, the coffin was likely just an effigy, as it seemed too light to hold a person. As for why they were burning it, the men's chants explained that. Throughout the ritual, the men were chanting about getting rid of their outside cares by burning them to ash, just like they burnt the coffin. Doesn't sound all that sinister when you put it like that, right? I'd love to go and investigate more, but unfortunately, the last Bohemian Grove gathering took place all the way back in 2008. If it was still going on, I'm pretty sure we'd have seen the truth on TikTok by now. Are you sure about that? Right, this is why they're trying <laughs> to get rid of it. <clears throat> Are you sure about that? Oh no, man! Hell uh, no, nah, bro. It's sound like to... they sound like they kind of trying to conjure a Voldemort out there. It's fucking Death Eaters out there, man. Man, <laughs> it's all burning coffins and chanting in a, on another island or at the end Number of the pure island. bloods out there. <laughs> That's crazy. Somebody said gullible white man. Yeah, we ain't crazy. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, <laughs> the city of catacombs. Mm -hmm. Back in the 18th Paris. century, Paris didn't exactly smell yep. as good as it looked. With the city rapidly expanding, the cemeteries overflowed, and the unbearable stench attracted disease-carrying pests. Mm -hmm. Something had to be done. And the solution resulted in the creation of we have the one. mother of all spooky what? tourist attractions. No, I'm talking about the the uh, their idea what? of how to deal with the overflow of death, dead bodies. You stupid, bro. You stupid, bro. The Paris catacombs. This labyrinth of we'll passageways was installed here. in the tunnels of former quarries under the city, terrifyingly lined with the bones of approximately six million uh -huh. people who died hundreds of years ago. Stretching for 150 <laughs> miles beneath Paris, That's creepy visitors as hell, can travel bro. back in time by recalling the history of the many Parisians buried there. Yep. However, only a small section of the catacombs are open to the public, mm -hmm. and entering the I other galleries has been against the law since 1955. But that hasn't stopped a lot of people. Mischievous kids and perverse partygoers are known yep. to access the catacombs through secret entrance points across the city. Many even upload their annex to YouTube. Unfortunately, though, not everyone ends up having a great time. Nope. In 2017, two teenage boys got lost in the pitch black labyrinth of tunnels. According to an official tour guide headcount, they hadn't gotten in through the tunnels open to the public and so had stupidly made their way into the catacombs on their own. Oh. Without a clear path or light source, they were lost beneath the city with only the dead for company. Jeez. Three days later, a specialized search team was alerted to their disappearance and sniffer dogs were able to miraculously track the two boys down. Wow. They were hungry, dehydrated, and suffering from I hypothermia, bet they were. but alive. <laughs> if it weren't for those dogs, their bones might have joined the millions of others down yeah. there. Shout out exactly. to the doggos. North Brother Island. Out in New York's East River, there's an island with a terrifying reputation. And I'm not talking about Rikers Island. A stone's throw away from this famous jail complex is North Brother Island, a place with a past more terrifying than any jail. It's currently illegal to visit, unless a visiting party has gained personal approval from the New York City Parks and Recreation Department. Wow. Mm. Sounds pretty stringent, and for good reasons. Decaying, crumbling buildings are littered over the island, and it's totally overrun with lush-looking greenery. While it looks like it'd be a dream to explore, the history of this place makes it more of a nightmare. In the 1880s, the Riverside Quarantine Hospital was built across the island. 
New Yorkers with smallpox, tuberculosis, and many more hideous illnesses were condemned to live out their days here, being studied Damn. by doctors, including one Mary Mallon, also known as Typhoid Mary. What? She was the first U.S. resident identified as an asymptomatic carrier of typhoid fever, a Damn. deadly bacterial infection spread through contaminated food or water, in 1907. Mary worked as a cook, and because she didn't have any oh, symptoms, no. she unknowingly infected at least 122 oh, people and was no. quarantined on North Brothers Island for the rest of her life. But the need for a quarantine hospital had declined by the 1930s, and so the island was abandoned until it was later used to house World War II veterans wanting to further their studies in 1943. After that, it was converted into a rehabilitation center for adolescent drug addicts. Although some haunting messages left on the wall indicated these poor kids didn't always have a choice in being there. Ew. And following serious allegations of corruption, the island was abandoned for a final time in the 1960s. Today, the whole place, and its unsettling history, has been left to rot. Mm. And with a history as dark as that, I'd say it's probably for the best. For sure. Just nuke it. Have you ever you gone somewhere that was wasting so here. resources, bro? Nuke that shit, man. Uh, I don't think it is. Just nuke it, bro. <laughs> just, a chill, just a chill one, like not no extreme. <laughs> the yeah. down. Yeah, that's all I see. The answer to every problem, huh? Just nuke it, right? Fuck it. Kaboom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Why not? They just it's just sitting there taking up space. No. <laughs> nuke it. Start over. <laughs> <laughs> like damn, bro. Oh man, but yeah, this was a very interesting video. Once again, if there's signs of places, you know, that saying do not enter or don't be here after a certain time, guys, gals, just just listen to the signs. Or it's against the law to, to go there. Like yeah, like just don't do it. Don't do it. You don't want to be in them one of those situations. You fall down a goddamn hole, <laughs> stuck with some snakes and shit, and you gotta fight your way and last until safety comes or people come to help you don't want to be caught in those type of situations y'all facts bro facts you wolf fam so hey if y'all enjoyed the video man very informative make sure you run up the like sure. subscribe let us know what else we need to be checking out man keep on spreading love be in love catch y'all on the next one. peace out already if you got a problem then we got the solutions and there's no illusion i made this shit happen i'm living life lucid i'm switching my strategies now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me